Okay, so I just read an article. Um, Rob, you, I'm sure you've read this. It's about um, executive sessions. And there was a ruling that um, there is, in the past it's been, you really shouldn't be talking about what goes on in executive sessions. But um, in the spirit of transparency, the, the uh, law was reinterpreted to say that there's nothing holding a council person from talking about what was talked about in the executive session because <coughs> everything in the government should be transparent. Um, so that's really uh, pretty big news when I read it. Did you read that as well? Yeah, I don't think that's what it says, though. I mean, there's nothing in the Open Meetings Act that says that you cannot discuss what is discussed in executive session, but there are other factors that may come into play, such as um, violating public trust, um, you know, usurping public opportunities. You know, it, there's reasons why those very narrow exceptions are created. And just because the exception exists doesn't mean that you have to use it. It right. does not mean that you have to discuss every single <coughs> matter in executive right. session. But if, but if you choose but to do if so, you to do so and, and use very, you know, be smart about it. Well, another example would be discussions of like acquisition of real estate. You know, a, a deal is presented that the city could take advantage of. Somebody in executive session doesn't like it, so they decide they're just going to go. Okay, well, they didn't do anything illegal, but they probably, in my opinion, violated their public duty by depriving the city of an opportunity. That sort of thing. Okay. So I don't think that that article should be read to say that there's no more executive action. You just have to use good sense. Um, okay. And I, understand I, what your public duty is. But I think, I think uh, speaking from a council person's point of view, um, a lot of times you feel, you know, like you can't say anything. And if there's something that's not going to really cause any harm, it'll, it'll actually benefit the citizens and it won't cause any harm. They use good sense, but you can talk about it with, without fear of repercussion. Well, the other part of, part of the article, I think, was based on misperceptions about what goes on in an executive session. A, a government cannot take any binding action in an executive session. If they are doing that, that is illegal, but which is why we always come out of an executive session and then make a motion. Well, most of the time. So you don't make a motion in an executive session. You don't, do, you know, you... You don't you base your actions solely on what's discussed in the executive <coughs> session. If there's going to be an action <coughs> that requires a vote, that vote has to be taken outside the executive session. I just want to de demystify executive sessions. Because I know a lot of people, especially tonight I was asked about it, you know, what goes on in those executive sessions? And I'm like, well, you know, sometimes you have discussions that would embarrass a, a city employee or somebody or there's a real estate transaction and you can't just put it out there. You need to discuss it. Um, you know, or if there's a, a reprimand coming down, you don't want to admonish somebody in front of, you know, the crowd. So there's certain, there's certain, uh, Things that go on in executive sessions, but then I don't think that they're in any way, shape, or form to keep anything away from the citizens. <coughs> that that being said, I appreciate your comments on that. But it was it was really interesting reading that. And uh, okay, so um, what do we got planned? So we have Thursday night. We have the tree lighting. We have the fourth grade chorus coming from Lake Park Elementary to uh, sing some Christmas songs. <coughs> and we're going to have cookies and hot chocolate and a visit from Santa. <laughs> and uh, I think it'll be a really nice time. Um, so spread the word. If we had this uh, phone message service in place, we'd be letting everybody know about it in case they, it slipped their mind. Um, then we have the parade on Saturday. Lineup is at 10 a.m. Chauncey, the field next to Chauncey Drugs. Yes. Um, 
It's not too late to register your vehicle. Just come on in. Uh, bring some candy to throw at the children. Oh, two. Oh, you get two. Two, two, uh, two. And, uh, these are the good. These are good things. These are the really good things. Uh, dress up in vehicles. Yeah, we'll have a good time. And we got the band. The band last band is coming today. A bridge. A bridge. What do you have? Actually, this year they called us. Did they? they yes. You got the bridge <coughs> That's cool. They wondered why we had a call. Wow, that's mm -hmm. excellent. Uh, you know, they're the greatest marching band in the world, so uh, mm -hmm. we're set for that. And then, uh, am I missing anything else? Uh, tour of Homes, also the Tour of Homes on the 14th. Thank you. Tour of Homes yeah, coming up. Society. And that's uh, really interesting. You get to uh, see some of the uh, historic buildings in Lake Park. Um, they open up the, uh, the old post office. Uh, kind of that was actually an old schoolhouse, and some of the pictures are out there. So, will, the, will the Carter's residents have cookies also? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, you want to tour our homes? No, we should. We have served our time on that. Okay. <laughs> so I think if you go to the South, there won't be cookies that you'll be getting. So, uh, <laughs> Where's? I'll make it a German week. I'll make it a German week. Second. We have a second. All in favor? Four, 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 four. Thank you so much for coming.